In the past couple of months, I've been on two live streams on Kit Vets Master's YouTube channel. He's a productivity and e-ink expert. I have five kind of concepts that either we've talked about or I've been thinking about that I wanted to go through in this video that I think are really interesting and could potentially happen very soon. Some of them are already semi-realized products, but with a few potential changes that I'd like to see. So let's uh, get into it. I think they should have, they, they had one which was a little screen here on the side. I think they should have a e-ink screen like this. So it would have to be a bigger laptop or a smaller e-ink screen. But could you imagine this is your full-size keyboard, so enough space for a little tablet off to the side, which is like your scratch pad, basically. Yeah, and that one had a siloed pen too, which is yeah. So, and then you could just pull that out, you know, and that could that's almost like the satellite device. You could take that and read something on the on the sofa, you know, but it's got all the access to all the files on this. It's got a low powered Android system here, you know. That's what I think they should go down. I think that would. So you know, this use case is compelling for people having it next door to your laptop like that. Yeah. That's, it's okay. That's well, well, if uh, if Lenovo were to make an e-ink integration device, is that is that what you think your ideal one would be? I think so because I think you need to like having it on the back was silly because then you can't you can't use both screens at once. <laughs> so like yeah, you know. So the ThinkBook Plus Gen three that we we're referencing was a uh, large ultra wide screen like this, and I think it had an LCD, but. Obviously, if they remade something like that, they should probably put an OLED or a mini LED in there. Um, and then you can see the keyboard deck like Kit's talking about is on the uh, side here. And then it had a little seven inch scratch pad here, LCD. Um, but what we're talking about is having potentially an e-ink display here, maybe Carter or Kaleido, and then have it be able to be removed. So kind of like this, which has a uh, little pin dock here it could potentially slot in you know if, if anyone's going to make a laptop that does e-ink right hopefully mm -hmm. it would be them i think because they've, yeah, they've already experimented, not giving up with it. experimented a bunch, right? you know they're, they're, they're not stopping with that uh with that device or that line they're not stopping with their kind of uh, thinkbook plus which is the sort of innovative ones they see, did you see the thinkbook plus with the android tablet that you rip off the screen and it, yeah, and it runs two, it, it literally runs Android and yeah. Windows, right? So you pull it off and it's an Android tablet. It's got a totally separate processor, I believe, in the in the screen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in the base. And then the base has the, has the, the, the yeah, Windows the one, right? Um, uh, interesting. Though. Yeah, that's interesting. So that is a fascinating concept for an e-ink screen, I think. Yeah. But it's not an e-ink screen. Yeah, so um, you mentioning that Lenovo laptop, I actually was thinking that I think my ideal format would be something exactly like that, hmm. but having the back side be an e-ink and the front side be a regular screen. But mm -hmm. then when you detach it, you're not using the LCD. It's just literally like a something like a remarkable or like a books. Yeah. And then when you and then it has its own processor, right? It has its mm -hmm. own like Snapdragon in there or something. But then when you dock it back in, it's yeah. a Windows laptop. And you could choose, you know, you could put, put it, this it in way. this way. Like, right. so I want to like consume content or mm -hmm. I want to flip it. And then I want to like, uh, you know, either take notes on it or um, just have an e-ink thing to read documents. Like uh, yeah. they have the capability of doing that. Yeah. I mean, that. I mean, to take the screen right off. Because I, I agree with you, like having one screen on one side and one screen on the other side, you're never going to use the presenting feature where you're looking yeah. at one thing on one side, someone else is looking at something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that if was you, just, you have the best of both worlds, like have a mobile chip in mm -hmm. there for, you know, high efficiency stuff. And, you know, when, when you're using it in the e-paper mode, it doesn't require a lot of power like mm -hmm. we we're talking about. But then in the in the dock, it's got like a full uh, core Ultra 7 in there or something. So that could that could be interesting. Yeah, and and this idea of like having the, the keyboard be separate from the screen, and you know they've obviously got the folding ones as well, where you can like set the screen over there and type away on the little keyboard, and you know that you know there's lots of places where these could go, and um, yeah. So the third concept I'd really like to see is some form of a small little e-ink jot pad that can be integrated into the new Framework 16. The Framework 16, if you don't know, has some modularity where the keyboard um, deck is actually 
rearrangeable so you can shift things around, put them like here. And I couldn't kind of imagine that maybe, maybe they could build like a smaller one that just like, you know, slots in kind of like you and I have been talking a little bit about the framework, like, like an e-ink module, you know, that could just sit right. in this sort of side panel and, and become, pull it out, it's your little reader. Oh, I just got to go and read this and review this. So take it out, make my notations on it, plug it back in and the file's there on the computer. And that, You're that saying is Remarkable should make a screen for the framework. <laughs> yeah, totally. This is, there we go. That'd be that's, pretty that's cool, the collaboration, yeah. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Another concept I'd like to see is the new Zenbook Duo they just launched this year. I've reviewed the previous Zenbook Duo and kind of talked about some of the cool things about that. Yo, have you seen the new one that just came out? No. Oh, it's fascinating. Maybe I can pull it up and like show Yeah, it. you pull it up. I'll have a little look and... Um... Yeah. Oh, there we go. All right. So if you look at this, looks like a pretty normal laptop, right? Yeah. So what they did is the the actual keyboard oh nice undocks the whole thing yeah yeah it, it snaps on and when it snaps on it has pogo pins so there's right. zero latency and it That's charges good. the keyboard too once you undock it from the screen it immediately bluetooth connects to it um and then you can use it uh there's a built-in kickstand um and you can also use it in portrait mode so for like developers it's amazing and uh, it has touchscreen support, uh, pen support. And then if you see this little thing on the bottom here, yeah. it has a built-in kickstand. So oh, I see. So it sits up like that. So it sits uh, up like that. I don't see any reason why on that dual screen device, why the top screen can't be a regular OLED and then the bottom screen could be an e-ink device. I think that actually provides a lot of value if it were perhaps a Kaleido screen on the bottom. I really like the concept and layout of that device. I don't know if Asus would do this, but Lenovo could potentially do something like the Yoga 9i. They had um, a very similar concept to that one. The last one is really uh, just kind of already an existing concept. Like on a books device, you can use Space Desk, for example, to have that be an external monitor to your laptop. But you know, we've uh, talked about things like the Remarkable. I'll insert a little clip here. I, I think, you know, it, Remarkable might do well to partner maybe with a sort of PC manufacturer or uh, another software manufacturer to make it really close, uh, really able to closely link with your desktop. So maybe it's something that you could actually like, you know, it could come in and sit in a dock and then you very, very easily, you can just uh, send... Um, a file across for reading or something that you've got to mark up oh, and, and it be that kind of second screen like we were talking just before we went on air about using e-ink tablets as a second monitor for your actual laptop you know just things like that what you're what you're pointing at is like i think ideal because we were just talking about this before like with the onyx book you can have that set up as a second screen for your monitor mm -hmm. and like if you're reviewing a document there's really no need that it should need to be on an LCD or an OLED. You could just have Absolutely. it on there. What if the Remarkable could do the same? Yeah, if it totally. had some yeah. form of pogo pin dock that would just directly connect yeah. it to that yeah. and um, then become like some form of an external monitor or mm. some better integration, just like you're talking about, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And so I could imagine you just, you could have the files, you know, you could literally look through the files on your PC on here and just open up whichever one you need to read. And then you could like carry this, you know, maybe your desktop still obviously stays with yeah. with the desk and you carry it through to your living room or your laptop stays connected and you just carry it through. It's just like a periphery. It's like a satellite to your laptop maybe. And it, uh, we were talking about books earlier on. And one, one reason why books might be your ideal companion is that you could just fire that up into um, Space Desk or wh whichever screen sharing app and you can have it as an extended desktop you know that that's a nice thing about having the full android system you know some some being able to switch from it being your notepad to being able to actually just stick a document over there to be able to reference it whilst you're typing that's all you know that lives on the or a browser window or whatever program you need just have it as an extra little window linked to your laptop might be quite nice